वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन साइड डेंटिस्ट्री डेंटिस्ट्री मेड इजी एंड इंटरेस्टिंग माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सिद्धार्थ रॉय लेट्स बिगिन This is the second part of the video of periodontal instruments. So if you haven't seen the first part, do watch the first part first, then watch the second part. Thank you. So in the second part, we are going to study about various types of area-specific curate, such as Gracie curate, extended shank curate, mini blade curate, Langer and mini Langer curates. So let's begin. Gracie curate. Gracie curate are the best instruments for subgingival scaling and root planning because they provide best adaptation to specific anatomic areas of the dentition. There are various types of Gracie curates, uh, such as Gracie 1, 2, 3, 4, which are used for anterior teeth, 5, 6 for anterior teeth and premolars, 7, 8, and 9, 10 for posterior teeth, such as facial and lingual, 11, 12 for posterior teeth, mesial surface, 13, 14 posterior teeth for distal surface. So, this is a picture of Gracie curate. And uh, the Gracie curate adapts better than any other scalers. And yeah, as you can see, this is the facial uh, part of the tooth and this is the lingual. So, Gracie curate can easily adapt to the facial and lingual surfaces. And the major difference between Gracie curate and uh, Universal curate is that the Gracie curate has uh, only one edge, cutting edge, and it usually is used for specific areas. But Universal curate uh, has both cutting edges and can be used for uh, most of the areas, such as mesial, distal, facial, lingual, and the Gracie curate are curved in two planes, whereas the Universal is curved in one plane. And the universal has a 90 degree angle uh, of the blade of the universal uh, curate is 90 degree angle from the shank and blade of the Gracie is at a 60 degree angle from the shank. So from this picture you can see this is the Gracie curate and this is universal. So the blade is at a 90 degree angle from the shank and the Gracie it has a 60 degree angle from the shank. And also from this picture you can see the, the blade of the Gracie curate is, is curved and the convex is the cutting edge. This is the cutting edge. But for universal, both the sides of the blade can be used for cutting and it is straight. Now the curate are designed to be used in specific areas and experienced operator can adapt each instrument for use in different areas by altering the position of his or her hand and the position of the patient. So this is the uh, picture of the Gracie curate and as you can see the clinician holds the Gracie curate at a modified pen grasp and use uh, a finger rest for support and he is uh, or he or she is uh, removing the calliculus or plug on the mesial surface of the premolar. So let's uh, study in detail about Gracie curate a bit more. So this is the Gracie curate instrument, this is the handle and this is the shank and this is the blade. So the shank has various parts. This is the functional shank, this is terminal shank and this is walking in and from this picture you can see this is the cross section this is the terminal shank and this is the walking end and usually the gray security has one cutting edge which is working and a non-working edge so there are two cutting edges the working edge is angled lower and is sharp so the cutting edge is angled lower and it is sharp and the non-cutting edge is angled higher and is blunt. For subgingival debridement, uh, it is used for above more than 5 mm of depth subgingivally. So these are the sets of gray securities as we discussed in the first slide. So they are usually a set of 14 and they are single ended and like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
11 12 13 14 so basically this is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so they are uh, double sided the handle has uh, blades or uh, working ends on both the sides of the handle so they are numbered in this fashion so from this picture you can see this is gracie curate 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 3 4 look similar uh, like this and uh, the gray C56 looks like this this is the gray C7 8 and 9 10 looks like this and gray C11 12 and 15 16 looks like this and this is gray C13 14 and 17 18 So as we discussed earlier, the Gracie has a you know spoon-shaped uh, blade, and it has one cutting edge and face and a toe, and it's like a 60 or 70 degree angle from the shank, and they are used on the specific surfaces. For example, Gracie one two is used on the facial surface of the lower anteriors. Gracie seven eight also used for anteriors. 11 12 use for posterior 13 14 interproximal posterior 15 16 interproximal 17 18 again for posterior so as you can see this is the gray security and this is the angle how the blade is the cutting edge is lower down and is parallel to the tooth surface the shank should be parallel to the tooth surface Now let's talk about rigid Gracie curate. Gracie curate are available with either a rigid or finishing type of shank. The rigid Gracie curate has a larger, stronger, and less flexible shank and blade than the standard finishing Gracie curate. So the rigid has a strong blade and a strong structure to hold the uh, pillar. And the rigid shank allows the removal of moderate to heavy calculus without using a separate set of uh, heavy scalars such as sickles and holes. Let's talk about Gracie Curate 1516. So Gracie Curate 1516 is a very important tool in dentistry. It's basically a modification of uh, certain other Gracie Curate such as 11, 12 and 13, 14. So let's see. So Gracie Curate is a modification of 11 and 12 and is used for mesial surface of posterior teeth. Mesial surface, remember, and consists of a Grace 11 12 blade combined with a shank of 13 14. So, from this picture, you can see this is 11 12 Grace Security. The blade combines with the shank of 13 14 and makes 15 16. So, basically, this is 13 14, this is 15 16. So, from this picture, you can easily understand how the shank is angled. So basically it has used the shank of 13-14 and has used the blade of 11-12 and it forms the 15-16. So this is the picture of Gracie 15-16 and this is the picture of Gracie 11-12. Note the double turn of the shank though in 11-12 turns twice. And in 15-16 it is desired for mesial posture surfaces combines the blade of 11 12 blade and Gracie is 13 14 shanks as we have discussed, discussed earlier about it. Now let's study about Gracie 17 18. Gracie 17 18 is a modification of 13 14. So from this picture, you can see this is 17 18 and this is 13 14. It is a terminal shank elongated by 3 mm and more accentuated angulation of the shank to provide complete occlusal clearance and better access to all the posterior distal surfaces it provides a more relaxed hand position when scaling distal surfaces in addition blade is 1 mm shorter to allow better adaptation of the blade to the distal tooth surfaces so the basically they are used for scaling on the distal tooth surfaces and it has a 3 mm 
elongated shank in comparison to the 1314 and it provides a more relaxed hand position when scaling the distal surfaces and provide better occlusal clearance and better access to all the distal surfaces. This is the key secret to understand which curate should be used on which aspect. So the tooth has four aspects, mesial, distal, lingual and facial. Uh, so the Gracie curates are available in various sets and each set are used in different uh, aspects. So in the anterior aspect, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6 is used for buccal lingual, 7, 8 and 9, 10, for mesial surface, premolar and molars, 11, 12 and 15, 16 and for distal surface, 13, 14 and 17, 18. So the green is the buccal lingual and orange is mesial and blue is distal and yellow and silver it's anterior. Also, this chart will help you understand uh, that there are various other gray securities which can also be used on these various aspects and you can easily understand from this chart. Do subscribe my channel. Please press the like button and do comment below for more videos. Thank you.